Good morning. We are all very ready for breakfast. Of course, they have a good selections of everything. The quality is very clean and it's amazing. Funny that the table number matches my room number. This is the ski helmet rental area plus the locker room. The locker room is very nice. The whole map here is Corviglia, and there are two more area that we can visit with our ski pass. This lift here is hotel's private lift. That's why it's not a lot of people around this area. This is also belongs to the hotel as this is a ski in ski out hotel. After skiing a few rounds, I really wanted to take a break for the day. I haven't been skiing for many years and I had for many years. My skill just decayed over the years and I got really scared growing up. Basically, I learned to be fearful becoming an adult. We did not get back at our hotel, so I'm waiting for my dad to pick us up. The hot red wine is really, really amazing. Going up and down, taking the lift, even though there's no line, still took us the whole afternoon. And then we got changed to check out the spa area, the swimming pool, and other amenities. We took a shower and get ready for dinner tonight tonight we're having dinner at another five-star hotel nearby this is a two-star michelin restaurant that i had tried in shanghai originated from italy this micro-sized croissant is actually potato piercing with the soup he only ordered two glasses of wine and they're opening a brand new bottle for us and you can't really go wrong with wrestling the whole meal was very nice, very decent, but I just didn't expect they have a lot of cheese, which my mom was struggling a little bit. The main dessert was really fun to play around, but the bottom part, the whole thing is cheese. The portion for every dish is not that big, but we are always so full at the end. Now, this is the real croissant and they squeeze fresh cream inside and you can have as much as you want ending the night with some family game time after breakfast this morning i really want to check out the back of the hotel it's so sunny today wanted to check out this doom thing with my own eyes this is created by an artist it's so small and so cute so colorful very thoughtful behind it you can see the mountain views of it it's very very pretty Look at the sunshine today, it's amazing. Although sunstick is very helpful at this point, I still highly recommend wearing a ski mask, which I will do next time, because by the end of this trip, I got some new freckles. This massive lift here can carry hundreds of people. They call it air taxi when I first time hear air taxi. I thought it's gonna be a helicopter, because when they say water taxi, it's a boat. We accidentally went down and we are coming up again. We went up to the hub area and ski back down only with blue lanes. They don't have any greens here, only blue, red, and black. To survive and have fun here, you have to have a solid intermediate skill. It's around 4 p.m. now, we didn't have lunch, so we considered this as an early dinner, late lunch. To end the day, we just went to sauna and relaxed for the night. It's so cute how they fold our pajamas. As we didn't go up to Pizznar yesterday, we are going up today. Today is my resting day, so I'm still utilizing my lift ticket to go look around. I highly recommend to come up and see. Their lift up here closing really early. I think it's 3.30 going up. The skiing level here is only red and black. Now we are heading to another mountain that is a 20 to 30 minute drive. This is a relatively smaller mountain with only a few tracks. I noticed a lot of older generations are skiing here and their skiing skill is so good. These strings are really short and really high up that I can never reach. Too lazy to drive back out for dinner so we just had a light food in the hotel lobby. My dad got dim sum, it's not very good and it's not a surprise. Sadly, this will be our fourth night here and it's also our last night and we got some chocolate from the hotel before we go. 
Jim mentioned that they upgraded our rooms. Our rooms are connected. One of the room is larger with sofa and coffee table and the bathroom is also larger. Plus the views of our rooms is one of the best. I do my own nails and it's been almost a week with traveling. I still wanted some sticker nails. But on the other hand, one of the nails just came off and I need to get it done as soon as I can. The downside of traveling is really packing and unpacking. By the way, this is the living room area I was talking about. It's full of stuff that I need to pack, which I'll be doing it tonight. I bought this with me and I forgot to use it. This is matching the theme of my trip. It's my last morning here, so I want to get some practice done. It is snowing. It was so lucky that I was taking a lift with one of the trainers and he helped me with one of the struggles I had so I can just practice with myself in the future. It's time to go and return all the equipment. This is the best feeling. Before we leave St. Moore's, there's one more place I need to go. Laurel Piana. I ordered something that has arrived. It's amazing how many color I've seen here. I've seen more than these four or five colors. The sales associates was really helpful. So I ordered these two color in store. The green is a little dull than I expected. I was really trying on both back and forth. And of course, I am bringing home one of the two. Hitting the road and driving to Zurich. It's around 2-3 p.m. already and we decide to have McDonald's for lunch. We ordered four sandwiches, one nuggets, one chicken wings, and two drinks. Look at this curry sauce. I noticed they really like curry here. For everything, it's 60 Swiss francs, which is expensive. The chicken wings were really restaurant level automatic doors for mcdonald's here we found out that there's an outlet next to the mcdonald's and then we stopped by to shop a little although we didn't really get anything back to the road again so driving from st moritz to zurich is around two hours quickly drop off the luggages at our zurich hotel and we returned our car from zurich airport to zurich city center is very close just a few stops this bacon pasta is to die for. It's really, really good with big portion. Tiger pond pasta and pizza to share among the two of us. This is a restaurant nearby Park Hyatt in Zurich. The chili oil is amazing. It's homemade. Look how thin it is. It's so good. Before going to bed, I did an unboxing video for shorts. In Zurich, we're just gonna tour around, relax, and enjoy the city. I have been here two times for transfer, the transfer that takes the entire day. So I have been here before, but I have never stayed here. We got three pre-packed chocolates that cost 60 Swiss francs, same as the McDonald's. It's been a few days for my parents, so we had Chinese food for lunch and then we came to this cute little coffee shop that is over a century old. Been a little tired the last few days because we just really wanted to do it all at St. Mort's and it's our first time. We went back to the hotel and took a rest before dinner. For dinner, we went back to the Italian restaurant from last night. I wanted to order pizza again, but I accidentally ordered some like dumpling things like this it's bacon eggs and cheese inside it was not bad because they made it well regardless it's snowing hard outside we still wanted to go to a bar since the supermarket is still open i have to come in and look at this this is really cool the bar is like a 10 to 15 minute walk is very close by but it is a commitment to get there regardless of the weather condition the bar is full of people we waited one table before us they have some selections of cocktails but really the drinks were just all right the snow has been piling up and we have to uber back to the hotel this is a giant car that is 10 seats all to ourselves look at my nails they're done and they're done by me myself and i a trip longer than seven to ten days usually i will bring my nail kit today is our last day in zurich it's also an ending 
of the trip with my parents. We had a delightful time. Really last minute thing that I have been searching the platform Uggs that I couldn't find in Germany and I found it here in Zurich. They only had it in sand color. Although the chestnut color is more popular, I think I like the sand color better. Thinking deliberately whether I should get it or not since it's the end of my winter trip. Hmm, let me just walk around and think about it. I saw someone wearing these on an Instagram photo that looks really cute as well. It was in sand color. We all agree to have sandwich again since it's our last lunch here in Europe. We found this place and later noticed that it was so close to a hotel and we walked like 15 minutes to here. Although they only have three kinds of bagel but the taste of it did not disappoint. Today is a good day to get my pomegranate juice in. Right before pressing, I was like, wait, it's too far away. I had to stop filming and use both of my hands. Now it's done. Back to the hotel, here we go again, packing and packing. By the way, I ended up getting the Uggs. And here is a quick unboxing. I didn't ask for the box and they gave me a dust bag, which is very nice of them. We never get dust bags for Uggs in the US. Here is a peek of it and really debating whether I should wear it tomorrow to Istanbul. Last stroll around the city. You know the ice cream brand Move and Pick? It's really big here. It's a big thing that they got hotels, bars, and more. For our last dinner, we were really debating whether we should go back to the Italian restaurant. We did not and this place ended up more for drinks than for food, but turned out not bad. Thank you.